Good morning. It's Sunday, the day the church gathers for encouragement, for strength, for fellowship with Jesus, who is the head of the church, and with the body of Christ, fellow saints and believers. In the Old Testament, God created for six days and then rested on the seventh. In the New Testament, we begin our week with rest, sitting with Jesus, finding rest with Him, and then walking with Him in this world and standing with Jesus against the darkness of this age. Matthew eleven twenty eight, Jesus said, Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Ephesians 2, 4 through 6, But God, who is rich in mercy, because of His great love with which He loved us, even when we were dead in trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace you have been saved and raised us up together and made us sit together in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. We begin our week, we begin our walk with God by first sitting with Jesus, resting in Him. And then Ephesians 2.10, For we are His workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. Ephesians 4.1, Walk worthy of the calling with which you were called. Ephesians 5, 15, 16, Look carefully then how you walk, not as unwise, but as wise, making the best use of your time, because the days are evil. So then we walk with Jesus by faith. Walk as representing Jesus in this world. And then Ephesians 6, 10, 11, Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of His might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. So finally, we take a stand against the darkness of this age, this world, because the devil still walks about like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. And he may be after you. He may be after your kids, your family. 1 Corinthians sixteen thirteen. Be watchful. Stand firm in the faith. And it all starts with resting in Jesus, joining with the body of Christ, the church for encouragement and strength, fellowship with the Lord. And then... Tomorrow, Monday, walking and standing firm in the faith. Let's pray. Lord, as we gather today, let your presence fill the place where we sing songs of worship. Let your presence fill the place where we greet one another and encourage one another and pray for one another. Remind us of your soon coming and fill us with your Holy Spirit that we may keep our eyes focused on you, Jesus. And Jesus, we rest in you as we come together as the body of Christ. Bind our wounds, heal our hearts, and give us your strength for this week. And as we start this new week walking with you, draw us to prayer every morning. Keep our minds filled with your word and your will, and let us be light and salt in a world of chaos and confusing confusion. Lord, keep us alert as we stand with you against the works of the darkness in this present age. Keep our eyes, Lord, open so that we can see you working in our lives, in your church. Give us fresh hope. Renew our first love and let us know fresh fire from the Holy Spirit. Oh, Jesus, our eyes are on you as we pray in the name above every name, Jesus Christ. Amen.